Well, it's morning time, and I've been hearing about so many different things that you can do with a waffle iron. We've all seen these before. I bet you almost everyone has one of these somewhere in their closet. So, and they're great, you know, to make the you know the occasional times that you get together to make a waffle. But I kept, like I said, I kept hearing about all of these other ways that you can use it. Well, today I'm going to use it for breakfast, and today we are going to be making like a, I guess I'll call it an apple turnover and we'll see how it goes. Never tried this before, but if it works out, I figured it'd be good and I had to share. So my first step was I got some pre-made pastry sheet. For those of you more inclined to cook, you could always, of course, probably make your own. I'm not even going to try and attempt that, so I got some pre-made puff pastry sheets. Um, I'm not going to mention any brand or anything, because, um, well, because I'm not, but you can find those in the grocery store, so that was the first step. Next step was pretty simple. I simply cut the pastry sheet into fourths, like so. So now we have four, and then you are going to get to fill them up oh, not, oh. with apples. Yeah. That will be our next step. So what we're going to do now is get some of the apple filling and we're going to place it right in the middle. Maybe a little bit more. Let's get a good scoop of apple. We love, do you love apples? Mm -hmm. So do I. Right in the middle. Give it a good shake. There we go. We'll actually put some more on it in just a sec. Okay. Um, um, those type of apples are the same apples for apple pie. That's correct. We're using apple pie filler to make this breakfast. So there we go. So now we've got our pastries. So now it's time to seal them up before frying or waffling. Waffle. I don't know what you'd call it. So one lesson I just learned that I'm going to share with you right now is do not overfill. So this one right here, probably too much. That's probably about right. Because if they're too full, it doesn't work right. So that's the lesson. Don't overfill. Then you got to seal it. And I'm just going to use a fork to seal it shut, like so. Is this how you make apple pie? It's not apple pie. So there you go. I'm just sealing it up. Oh. And this guy is making a little bit of a mess because I overfilled it. But there you go. I'm just sealing it up. And then we're simply going to fry it for about three, three, four minutes in the waffle iron. Um, we'll put it in there. We'll spray this up and away we go. So that'll be the next step. Okay. Let's give it a quick check. Ooh la la. All right. It's hot. Don't touch. Look at that. Here's another real quick tip. You can cook two at a time if you place them in like this.